Hey, what is going on guys? My name is X-Ray Idiot Sdex. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to burn any Macintosh game on a CD and including Windows 98 games on a CD. And let's get it started. So the first thing you're going to need is a CD-ROM. If your computer does have one, you're fine. But if your computer does not have a CD-ROM, you will have to use a USB CD drive. If you don't know where to get one, I'll put that into the link in the description below. And I'll also put the CDs into the link in the description below so you guys can uh, buy them off of eBay. They're very cheap. They cost like a dollar and ninety-nine. Okay. So first, let's put our CD into the CD drive. And it will take a moment. And I'll also put the website entry link in the description up there. There it is. DBR, so let's click on it. Uh, okay, take no action, burn an audio CD. So let's minimize this. Go to file. And you will have to format it. Right, three space. I just saw it somewhere. Alright, let's see what I can do. Just PC. Okay, there it is. CDR. So you want to click on that. And it's going to ask you if they were you like to name this. Uh, we can name it uh, South Park or whatever game you want to name it. So I'm gonna name it. Hold on, let, let me look for the game. So before naming, so the website is called archive.com. This is the website that I use to. Um, nope, I don't want that. I don't want Twitter. Okay, so it just wants to take me to Twitter. So we're gonna have to type in game CD ISO, and it will. There it is, CD ROM software library. So this is the one that you want to click on. So we click on it. And some of the games, if you guys want to play a game on an old Apple computer running with OS 9, uh, I still have to say this, but some of the games can only work on PC. But if you have Windows 10, you can run PowerPC program. But it's just like one and run. All you're gonna have, the only file that you will have is a bin file. But I did try to watch a video, like how to actually do it, how to actually um, make, uh, how to actually turn a bin into an ISO. Look at that. We have Microsoft Windows NT. You can also download operating system, but you also need a DVD drive to install Leopard. So we have Mario with typing. And if you keep on scrolling down, you will find more stuff. Uh, the Oregon Trail 1.0, uh, Monkey Island by LucasArts, uh, Half Life. So let's see. Oh, Emma Doss. I tried that before. So we'll click on that. Half Life. I never played the first Half Life before. There it is. So you want to click on that. See it where it said ISO image? Because the first Half Life was also part of Windows 95, and Windows 2000, and Windows XP. Well, you can also play Half Life on Windows XP on Steam for Windows XP. So we're gonna click download because the CD that we had is a 700 megabyte. So click install. It's a what do you want to do with Half Life Day One, Sierra and Bald, 1998 ISL. So what do you want to do? You want to click save. 
And let's go back to where we were. We got a Nemo game. Uh, it will ask you like a USB flash drive. Uh, so you want to click on this one. Where's the CD flash DVD player? So click on this one. So we're going to name our game Half Life. Half-Life Vault, nice. Okay, there it is, Half-Life Vault, that's what we're gonna name it. So you cannot name, like, you cannot give it a longer title, so click Next. Okay, so the game will take a while, and I'll be back with you guys later. Okay, now that our game is done downloading, Half-Life Day 1 Sierra and Bob 1998.ISL So we're gonna uh, click the mist Minimize Internet Explorer And we're gonna open up the file Go to download And you wanna look for the game that you guys have downloaded There it is, Half-Life day one what you want to do and you want to go down after we where you uh after let's just do this so what you want to do you want to drag half-life onto the desktop release then go to uh this pc go down where it says dvd r drive f which is the f drive and you want to drag it to your ISL game, which is Half-Life. Copy to DVD or Drive. Let go. And it will give you an option. It to say, you have files waiting to be burned to disk. So what you want to do, you want to go to Manage. And you can Format or Eject or optimize so we want to click on finish it said finish burning so you want to click on that uh, it can ask you if you want to rename this title and you can pick a recording speed so I will recommend having it on 40x and you can also press this button and close with it after the file has been burned so click next adding data to the file disk but if you look on your left if you guys see the drive when you see the green light flickering with minutes burning see it 60 second left it will take a moment depending on your internet speed well my internet is fast but the reason why it's slow because it's just calculating all of the megabytes on the CD. But the ISL is just a crack file. It's just not like an actual like file that you just like burn a game and then you decide to put it on a iMac or iMac if you're running with if you crap on my thing. If you have an iMac G3 or an iMac G4. Alright, see, so we're almost done. Burning the data to file, 60 seconds left. Now 30 seconds. So, some of you guys may be wondering where do you like, where do you get like a lot of rare Apple games? Well, I get all my Apple games at Goodwill. But back when I was a kid, uh, I get all my favorite childhood games at Target and Walmart and uh, Best Buy. That's where I get them. But now, Best Buy don't sell Power PC uh, games anymore. But you would have to go to Goodwill or any thrift store that sell PC games. So you want to look for one that said Macintosh. If you don't have a PC, you can just like uh, run Windows programs on a Mac. So you can do that. 
but what is the best operating system to um, to play Power PC programs? I would recommend installing macOS Leopard because Leopard can allow you to play Power PC programs. And there we are. You have successfully burned your file. Uh, you will have another option or just say yes burn the file to another disk. You can do that if you want to burn the same if you want to burn a game the same game on another disk. So it's just click finish. And there we have it. We have our game burn on a CD. So let's click on it. I'll show you what it looks like. See it? It does auto run. There we are. But some of the game will inquire a raw file. So you don't want to mess with it. Just don't mess with the raw file. Just keep it as it is. If you do have one more, you can just open it and then just click download. And it'll also come with the setup. So yeah. Anyway, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy. And stay tuned for my next how to burn an ISO video. And stay tuned.